Let's so... start with the big upset, the North London yeah. derby. Did you see that one coming? No way. I don't think anyone did. No. And you speak a lot about, you know, title races and momentum. And, you know, Arsenal going into that one had it. You yeah, beat Chelsea, yeah. you're going into a Spurs, North London derby. And it's a shocker. But ultimately, I think all credit to Spurs. They get the goal in the 56th minute. They hang on for dear life and you get the result. That's what it's all about. But unpredictable in the WSL and you've got to love that. And what a goal it was. Yes. Brilliant move, wasn't Ooh, it? Oh, beautiful. Honestly, do you know what? That goal summarises exactly what Spurs were about on the day. Like, a real team performance. Everyone stepped up to the mark on a big occasion and played their absolute hearts out. Like, even this. The fact that Martha Thomas has picked it up yeah. in her own half, played a beautiful, full, beautiful ball forward, continued her run. But look at that. Jess Naz's run across the box allows for that space. Yeah. For Martha to just finish it on fire. Clever from Jess. Like, it's, that, it's absolutely so clever from Jess. Um, and then what a finish from Martha as well. On the big stage. Oh, Look at what it means. Yes. You got a knee slide, didn't you? Oh, yeah, of course. 100%. Yeah, 100%. I'd, I'd see we do, that. We do and, knee I, slide? and I'm full of admiration. If I did a knee slide, <laughs> I wouldn't be getting up this time yeah. of Christmas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just wonder for, for Arsenal and, and, and you know, Ed, 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 you, you, as you said, you go and beat Chelsea and then that happens. Yeah. Frustrating, of course, really frustrating. But ultimately, this Arsenal side, I think, do have the ability to see, see it out. And yeah. as we said, the WSL is so unpredictable. And when you drop points now in the WSL, I don't think you can call it the way you used to. So bottom table teams are beating top of the table. And even like the mid table teams, though, they're, God, they're yeah. impacting results. Week now. in, week out, you yeah. can't call the fixtures. And actually, I quite like that. I like that we've got to a place where, regardless of who's playing, you can't almost predict it and I think that makes it exciting to watch and it makes you want to tune in so I think that's good for our game. Yeah and in the case in point as well I guess is in, in the other sort of big derby of the weekend yeah, yes. when Man United beaten by Liverpool you didn't see that one coming. Uh, not at all I was there as well to be fair and I weren't even in my seat for the yellow tune goal three minutes in. Always right, gets a cup of tea. Yeah, before. I was getting a cup of tea. Oh, yeah. So I missed the first. But when that goal went in, I thought, oh, could be a little bit of a goal fest for United here. So the fact that Liverpool were able to stay in the game like they did, and do you know what? I think that really summarises what this Liverpool side's about now. Like, it's that mindset to stay in games and win. And, wow, they were incredible at the weekend. They really were. I mean, it was an exciting game to watch. United had their fair few chances, but Liverpool and the way they stayed in it was absolutely brilliant. They, they dominated. Um, What's this, the winner here? That's it. Look at that. Oh, Look at that. Scenes. Yeah, there were scenes there, to be fair. Yes, is she got knee, no knee that. slides in it? Nah, no knee oh, slides. No. Got it. Got it. But yeah, no, it was a brilliant game to watch and really, really pleased for Liverpool. And what a great result to get ahead of Christmas, you know? Mm. So, yeah, perfect. You, you were quite literally teed off by missing that first goal, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's on one today. Oh, he is, he is. He's on one today. That jokes. That jokes. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Mark Skinner, though. What will he be thinking? Well, I think that, you know, you saw his post-match interview. He spoke about the mistakes and the standards um, of Manchester United. They weren't good enough. And as we speak about the Christmas break, it's a perfect time for Man United, I think, to go away, reset. They don't want to be going into games with this sort of mentality. Um, and he said he's disappointed. So I'm hoping that they come back um, with a bit more of Manchester United that we're used to seeing um, because I think they've lost it a little bit um, over the last couple of weeks and that Liverpool fixture will hurt them. So let's hope that they can figure that out. Talking of responding and mentality, let's turn to Chelsea. Mm. Uh, we, we touched on that defeat to Arsenal and then they come back, win 3-0 uh, at Bristol City. That's the response Emma Hayes would have wanted, wouldn't it? Yeah, to be fair, I mean, off the back of the post-match interview uh, against Arsenal, she wasn't too happy about it. And I think oh, uh, happy, Emma yeah. spoke for, for all Chelsea fans off the back of that performance. But at the end of the day, I think it's a minimum expectation of Chelsea to go back and bounce back the way they did uh, against Bristol City at the weekend. I think that had to happen. I think when, when you're a Chelsea, you can't allow a result to impact you and allow it to trickle down into... Um, the following fixtures because obviously that's very detrimental for them so the fact that they were able to bounce back hopefully um that was just a little bit of a blip that that result against arsenal for for chelsea and you'll be pleased because obviously lj yeah uh, <laughs> your favorite um, player rob so yeah of Rob's course favorite player so yeah no i think um honestly that's that's what needed to happen for chelsea
I, I, I like the way we're just at initials now. We don't even have to oh, say the full thing. Everyone knows. Everyone knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, let's talk about Manchester City up to second three points off Chelsea. 4-1 win at Everton. Let's talk Bunny Shaw. Missed yes. a penalty. Still went on uh, to get a hat-trick in that one. Takes the top of the scoring charts in the WSL. How yeah, important yeah, is she? Yeah. Can she be the difference in a title challenge? Oh, she is. Yeah. She is the difference. And I think Bunny Shaw... First of all, the mentality to miss a penalty, then go on and score a hat trick. That's exactly what you want from your striker, right? The confidence she's got at the minute, I think, will be the difference between Man City competing or not from the title. Look at that. Absolute Don't you think finish. it gives the whole squad confidence, though? Oh, Knowing your strikers can score goals, 100%. right? When you're in a team and you know that, yeah. regardless, you've got a striker up top that will finish for you, so all you've got to do is make sure the service is good, that's unreal. And week in, week out, she continues to show that she can deliver. Um, and Bunny Shaw is huge for this Man City side, definitely. Yeah.